Coming from all over the country to the University of Bridgeport to learn from the masters. This is more than just an elective. For the first time at an American college, students can major in the martial arts. Fox 61's Jim Altman found higher education is going to Fight the next the level. Future. Any, can anybody draw any, any relationships between Tai Chi and the Taoism? It appears to be a no, normal please. classroom environment. Is this really not my Tao? But here, they don't just hit the books. <laughs> They hit each other. Some Japan. kids go to college to get their kicks. Sit, sit down. These kids are majoring in it. When I found out that there was a martial arts major, I had no other choice for schools. I knew I was going to be coming here. This isn't a suburban strip mall. It's a city campus, the University of Bridgeport, the only place in the Western world where you can major in the martial arts. For about 20 students here, these are their college boards. Good game, what time? I like all the passages where it talks about water. Chris O'Neill hopes to become a Hollywood stuntman. Ready. In freshman year, has offered a steady diet of Taekwondo and Tai Chi. We do forms, we do breaking, we do sparring. After a two-year struggle, my focus is Tai Chi. Bridgeport professor Mark Setton's program earned accreditation a few She's months my, ago. Uh, it FIS took me professor. a while to get used to this um, very exotic idea. Um, and then, uh, in the end, we, we wrote, a, I think it was a 300-page proposal to the Department of Education in Connecticut. And they became very excited. Attention. Under the guidance of Professor Yang Bong Kim, there's no such thing as a typical school day. Here the students have become the masters. Most all of these kids are already black belts, and their exams are both written and physical, and this is a study break. But getting a kung fu grip on the future means being able to grasp Asian philosophies of the past. Quite simply, earning a degree for the wall isn't just about getting a degree on your belt. Common misconception. Um, a lot of people think that we just, we kick and we punch all day. But, uh, I mean, about half of my classes are, are mental based and the other half are physical based. It's extremely well-rounded. What's the ultimate motive? You know, why, they, why are we breaking yeah. boards? Yeah. It's much more than self-defense. And that's where Taoism comes in and, and Zen Buddhism. You have to get your head into the books and the philosophy, so when you get on the mat, you really understand what you're doing. The students are pursuing a variety of vocations. Education, entertainment, and criminal justice are among the most popular. Senior Henry Song plans to use his martial arts degree to break into teaching and become a college professor. I tell the students, other students and my friends, that martial arts isn't just about kicking and punching. You learn so much more spiritually, psychologically, physically. It's just a, a life-changing experience. And clearly, mm -hmm. here, knowledge is power. The education is much more than technical. And he likes you know, so much. It's, it's not just to, to gain intellectual knowledge. It's, it's, to, it's to be happy. It's, it's, to, it's to discover yourself. In Bridgeport, on special assignment. And then, jumps. Jim Altman, Fox 61, News at 10.